Now, today I want to show you something very simple. If you're using automation rules and if you are not sure about the smart values, uh, there is a documentation that you can follow. A documentation, uh, uh, a page on the official Atlassian documentation where you can take a look at uh, all the possible smart values. And uh, although I have talked about this in the past, that if you want to get the most out of your Jira cloud automations, uh, smart values is one thing, like one of the main thing that you should uh, try to explore as much as you can. And uh, I'm making this video in response to a question where someone was asking me, not me, but someone was asking uh, how to capture the portal request URL in email. Now, <clears throat> the main thing that I wanted to uh, highlight here is the is the way to find out and figure out the portal URL. Now this question has been asked by Nagaraju Reddy and uh, he's asking here, I have a requirement to send email notification to group of customers when issue created in my service management project. When issue is created in my service management project, in that email I need to capture portal request URL. Uh, we have this uh, with Jira default email customer not notification. Uh, but I'm using automations for Jira add-on. I use the following smart value, but uh, it captured Jira ID, not portal uh, portal request. Now, uh, if you look at uh, um, the page where you can uh, hopefully see the details, uh, and of course, this is not just specific to this, uh, we, this question. I mean, in case you are trying to understand what all you can do with smart values, uh, there is a documentation and if you look at the documentation there is uh, there is uh, quite a lot that you can uh, refer and uh, and if you want to of course uh, understand if a specific thing can be accessed using smart value just do a control f or command f on this particular page so we are talking about some kind of a url so if we search for url so yeah we do have issue url uh, which is uh, quite obvious like you will get the URL of issue but in case of Jira service management you have one URL which is of course uh, this one like if you look at this incident or whatever ticket you are referring to you have the URL which is of course Jira internal URL but you, you also have one uh, one external URL that will take you to the portal so portal is of course uh, a place for customers and uh, portal URL is of course uh, the one that they need to access the request that they have access to. So basically this URL is different. Now let me open, uh, uh, let, let me show you the, uh, the, the the automation rule and how I work uh, and troubleshoot things when I'm working on auto automation rule. So in case you want to figure out uh, or in case you're trying to understand uh, what a smart value can return, I always use something like a comment, adding a comment to the issue or uh, along with comment, I also prefer using the log. So if you copy this uh, this uh, smart value like issue dot URL dot customer and uh, maybe uh, so first of all if you want to do something with this uh, smart I mean if you want to see this smart value in action uh, you you can you you can choose any trigger but when you go to your project like a try to do it within a project so you are safe <coughs> so you don't really cross the executions. So if you go to a project, just do a transition to in progress or whatever transition that you have in the in the issue that is relevant. Now, when this transition happens, uh, when this will happen, I'll probably go to a log action and uh, I'll do something like, I'll, I'll find one action called log action and uh, I'll add the URL dot, issue.url.customer. So we have this, uh, this uh, rule and uh, as, a, as a good practice, display the issue URL um, using smart value. And while we are doing it, let us also use the other two. So basically we have issue dot, uh, the other one which is issue dot URL. Let us also add this to the, to the uh, log. Oops, sorry, I wanted to do and 
this one and if I go to the oh I have to save it now customer portal URL which is this one and we also have issue URL so let us save it I think I'll probably uncheck this prevent duplicates by adding only by only adding this comment once to a particular issue because we are doing a lot of testing and sometimes I I mean sometimes I, I face issues when the checkbox is already checked so we we have this uh, configured and what I'll do I'll go to one of my issue where I have the uh, where I know that there is a request uh, when the request is set using a uh, issue using rec using the request type then hopefully you will get the you will get the uh, view request in portal but if you create a new ticket within Jira let us say let us say you are reporting a problem uh, basically when you raise a new incident without uh, selecting the request type incident okay and when you click on the create button this will not have uh, the request uh, portal or rather customer portal URL because we don't have request type configured yet but we can do that I'm just trying to show you like if you go to the right hand side there is something called as a request type and of course when you when you raise a request from the portal you will always have uh, the URL and this will be filled in but I'm just you know I'm just I'm just showing you something extra so let us link it to report a system problem and uh, when you do this you will uh, have to refresh and uh, hopefully you will get one URL that will take you to the portal hopefully and uh, let us wait for it to refresh come on yep so now we can see that there is a link now to trigger this rule we have to transition it uh, transition this to um, not really I'll probably modify the rule I think it is only it will it might not work because the transition is in progress I'll probably include a work in progress as well just to be double sure yeah I know it's a different uh, it is a different different uh, transition so let us go back to the rule or not the rule but the issue uh, and click on the button uh, we'll click on investigate and hopefully the rule will now do something if I go to if, if I go to the audit log and okay I can see already something uh, show more let us take a look at the rule so it's it will give you this URL and uh, this one is of course uh, the portal one and you also have uh, internal one at the same time there is also hopefully a comment added to the issue let us take a look let us go to the issue and uh, refresh the issue and you can see the same thing we have two URLs one is of course for the customer and the other one is for the for the Jira agents maybe and uh, you can use the portal URL for maybe sending an email to them uh, I mean when you send them an email then send them an email uh, you can use this URL that they can access and uh, if you are struggling with uh, these smart values don't try to uh, I mean refer to this documentation that is what I'm trying to say because you have everything in the documentation I learned automation rules by not experimenting with the uh, with the smart values uh, because there is no autocomplete when you're using smart values you need to know the exact smart value uh, that uh, you can find of course by looking at the documentation for things like when you're referring to JSON body and when, when you have different uh, things different items in the JSON body I think you need to then uh, know uh, how to access the exact uh, item you need to do dot 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 something like that and when you're dealing with uh, items like some kind of a collection or, or or an array of when you have multiple items then uh, you can also iterate so you can always look at this documentation smart values uh, list to understand how to how to iterate over list of items but documentation has everything and that is what I was trying to say 
trying to convey in this video that try to try to refer to the documentation and that is all i wanted to cover in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you